Angie Machado, BeaverBlitz.com, joined by a very tall TJ Woods. <laughs> coach Woods is the O-line coach, brought on with Coach Anderson. Coach Woods, welcome. How has the transition been here to Oregon State? That's well, been awesome. I mean, I think, uh, you know, number one, everything about Oregon State, Corvallis, the city, um, has exceeded uh, my expectations uh, by a long shot. Mm -hmm. It's been, been really, really fun. And, you know, for me, I've been with Coach Anderson now. This is the third program that... Uh, I've been with him in and, uh, you know, just working with the, the other assistant coaches, mm -hmm. we're just, uh, I think that we've got a, a huge competitive advantage because of the, how close we are mm -hmm. and, and how well we know each other and how well we work with each other. How, the O-line, I've, I've talked to several today and, and just throughout the past spring and every, they love you. They love the staff. What have you done to kind of get those guys bought into your, your way of teaching? Because it is different than how Coach Cab was teaching. Well, I, you know, I, don't, I don't know if there's any magical formula. Um, you know, I think that uh, we, we have a, 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 the w a way we approach things. Um, it's consistent. Um, we're the same guys every single day. and um, So the guys know what to expect from you. I mean. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's, that's a big part of coaching in general, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I know when I played, I always, you know, you're always trying to impress your coach, right? I mean, that's what you do, and I think that when you get a new coach, uh, there's challenges there, especially if you're a guy that's already impressed the guy that was here before you. And so for me, um, you know, I've, I've been pretty clear and, and, and precise on, on what we expect as a staff. Um, and I think they've responded well. You have some talent coming back. How excited are you to get started tomorrow? Uh, very excited. Yeah, it's been uh, a long summer. It's been fun. Um, had a lot of good time with the family, but my wife's ready to get me out of the house. <laughs> and uh and get me back out here but um, you know we've got high expectations for our group we've got um, you know s relatively good experience mm -hmm. uh, coming back um, so that that should help I think that you know early that didn't really show up too much because of the the regime change mm -hmm. the techniques are different the calls are different the plays that we're running are different mm -hmm. I think now they've they've you know gained a little bit of comfort in, in what we're calling and, and how we're executing it and, and what we're asking them to do. So I expect uh, good things out of that group. Changing gears a little bit, tell us, A, where your recruiting territory is, because I mean, this is a 365-day-a-year job for you guys, and maybe your philosophy of what you look for when you're out recruiting. Is, is there a certain type of kid you look at? Is, there, you know, is it just speed? Is it, you know, what, you know, what do you look at? Well, first of all, uh, a, a old coach I used to work for used to say recruiting's like shaving. If you don't do it every day, it shows. So, <laughs> um, and that and that's definitely the case. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in in our profession yeah. now at, at this level, uh, you've got to recruit every single day. My area is Washington, Oregon, and Southern California. I'm okay. from Southern California. I have a small piece of Southern California okay. that that I'm you know grew up next okay. to. Uh, have some connections down there, but uh, the Pacific Northwest okay. is, is basically where I major. Um, you know, characteristics, what we're looking for, I mean, all the, the tangible things yeah. are out there, and, and those are all um, pretty well documented mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, how tall, how big, how okay. fast, uh, all those types of things. So, I mean, we're obviously paying attention to that, but I think for us, uh, it goes deeper than that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're looking for the right kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I would say that the, the intangibles is what we focus on as much uh, or maybe more than, you know, the tangible data that, that we can, you know, evaluate. So things like toughness, um, things like passion, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, those type of things to me uh, go a long way, especially for offensive linemen. Yeah. You know, offensive yeah. linemen aren't born, they're made. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a long, arduous process. And so you've got to have the mentality. I mean, you've got to embrace the grind. You have mm -hmm. to respect the grind, but you, you almost kind of have to be a little bit weird in the fact <laughs> that you like it, right? Yeah, you yeah, like yeah. the pain and the suffering, and you like the product at the end of that right. process. And not getting the, the glory that, you know, maybe a running back, a receiver, a quarterback gets. No question. Yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're looking to be in the paper every day playing offensive yeah. line, you're probably in the wrong spot. Yeah. So, um, you know, Pacific Northwest, California, you recruit West Coast, so you're recruiting against the Pac-12, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of Pac-12 programs. What do you tell a recruit who maybe says Corvallis? You know, it's not, it's not the bright lights of Seattle or L.A. Yeah, to, to me, that's a positive. And I, and I think, you know, for us, it makes us different. If you look at most of the schools um, in our conference, they are big cities. Big cities. Yeah. And, you know, that, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think that, you know, 
for me, for me personally, my my girls growing up right now, Corvallis is a place where I would love to have them come to college. And, and you know, in my opinion, if you want to be a Division One athlete, you should have dreams and aspirations of playing at the next level if you can. Um, while the percentage is small, that should still be your goal. Um, and what better place to come do that than a small college town where football and academics and your day-to-day -day business is at the forefront. And it's all of, right here. It's all uh, no right. question. No question. So, I mean, for me, I, to me, I think that being in Corvallis is a huge positive in recruiting. Beaver fans, first look here at Coach TJ Woods before fall camp starts. Stay tuned to Beaver Blitz for all the latest.